Hello, and welcome back. Today we're talking about Chinese traditional weddings. Uh, we've just learned about them. We've learned about the six rites, uh, the three letters, the formal bow, and so on. It's really quite fascinating, guys. Yes, nowadays many young people want to hold their ceremony in a traditional way. Even uh, some people in other countries want to celebrate the happiest moments by holding traditional Chinese wedding ceremony. Right. Uh, I noticed in Chinese weddings, the bride and groom uh, usually wear red clothes, yes, and their yes. bridal their bridal room is decorated in red. Yes. Why Why is the color red so popular? Uh, well, in China, red means fortune and happiness. Yeah, mm. and even for the flowers, people like to decorate them in red. And Josh, mm. I heard um, in Western countries. There are some very famous things, something old, something new, something borrowed, something, something blue. blue. And what, uh, what do something old and something new mean? Uh, something old and something new. This is, as you've just said, the part of the whole thing. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Yes. Um, something old, I'll say first. Um, usually this is something given to the bride from either her mother or her grandmother. Um, it's like sharing her happiness with her. It's, yeah. The mother of grandmother has usually been married for a long time, happily married, and to give her something is saying, you will also have this, you will also have this happiness. Uh, it could be anything, really. It could be a scarf, it could be a piece of jewelry. Um, it could even be from the mother's or grandmother's wedding gown. So it could be anything really. Um, something new uh, represents good luck uh, and, the, and hopes that the bride will have a bright future uh, in, the, in their new married life. Um, the wedding gown though is usually chosen as something new uh, because I think you wouldn't have a wedding gown before your wedding. <laughs> so, uh, but as well as the wedding gown, it could be many other things like a ring or the wedding ring or maybe even a flower or something like this, anything new. Uh, and it's to symbolize that they are creating a new life together. The, the bride and groom are creating a new life together, uh, a new union that will last for as long as it can. I think something new is similar in China. Mm. But in China's wedding, almost everything is new to represent the new beginning and new life. And how about something borrowed and something blue? Uh, something borrowed. Um, that's generally from a friend or a relative. Um, it's to show that um, if the couple ever come upon hard times, uh, these people will help them, but uh, it's really important that the thing that is borrowed has to be returned, otherwise it doesn't really work. Um, and something blue, uh, uh, many hundreds of years ago, it represented faithfulness, loyalty, purity, uh, but often bl the blue item was often like a garter or a piece of clothing. Um, maybe I think they used to wear blue around the cuffs on borders of their of their uh, dresses and gowns uh, to symbolize this. Um, uh, but I think nowadays uh, it's something small on the wedding dress. Maybe just a blue flower in the groom's hair, in the bride's hair, yeah. something like this. Wow, Chinese culture and Western culture are so different. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. And there's a lot of, a lot of custom I think Josh is very surprised to hear about. Mm -hmm. Crying for marriage. Crying um, for marriage? What is the um, ku jia? I have not heard of this, but this sounds strange to me. What, what is this crying for marriage? Maybe. The only thing I can think of is the couple are so happy together now. They have so many emotions inside of them. It's quite common for a bride to cry at the wedding. Is this what it is? Oh, no. I no? think it was different in China's past. 
Girls didn't have rights to choose their own husbands, and the whole marriage was decided by their parents. So they cried because of the、uh, they felt sad and、uh, fearful of the unknown、um, future. Yeah, yeah.、Mm. Right.、Um, actually, I can I can see why this would happen.、Uh, I I think back a, a long time ago in England, for lords and ladies, it was the same. But I don't know if the women cried.、Yeah. But、uh, there was arranged marriages back in England、um, many many years ago. I don't think it was so much the same with the common people though. So、yeah. that's quite unheard of. Mm. Can you introduce Western traditions of wedding? Yeah, sure.、Um, generally, it's traditional for the bride's father to pay for a large portion of the wedding.、Um, if I get a daughter, I will not be happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, also, it's for this reason. It's also traditional for. The father to walk his daughter down the aisle. He is giving away his daughter to to another man. It's basically she is now your responsibility.、Um, and afterwards, we have something called a reception, which is where all the the bride and groom will go somewhere else. They'll take their photos with everybody, but then. All the participants of the wedding will go to somewhere else. They'll arrive before the bride and groom, and when the bride and groom come in, they receive the bride and groom,、uh, giving them a,、uh, an applause.、Uh, in this, there's usually some entertainment, maybe a band playing or some music playing.、Uh, they will eat a, a lot of food, drink a lot of beer. Generally, get to know the other side of the family and have a lot of fun. So, I quite enjoy this part of the of weddings. So, what do people often do before and after the ceremony? Before,、uh, we wake up very early,、um, <laughs> make sure we are clean for the day and look for our best. Women put on their nicest dresses,、yeah. make sure their hair is perfect. Usually they wear big hats as well.、Mm-hmm. I don't know why.、Um, and then we will go to the to the place where they are getting married and await、yeah. for the marriage to be for it to begin.、Uh, and afterwards, as I've just said, we will have the reception, and the reception will generally go on until the last person has left. <laughs> so you never know how long a reception can last. Mm-hmm. You know, we Chinese often have a lot of food. How about the food? Oh yeah, we have some food as well. But、uh, I, there's a thing as a banquet. Do you know what a banquet is? Or a buffet? It's like a line of food.、Uh, ah, we know.、Yeah. Some people have this, but、uh, I think a lot of people prefer to have a professional chef. Cook some gourmet meals for everybody.、Uh, we'll have maybe three or four courses, and after that, maybe a dessert, and then that's when we start to party. And as we know on TV, the wedding always link with churches. Is that right?、Uh, not all the time, but there is still a large religious element、uh, in a lot of England. But recently, my cousin was married.、Uh, It wasn't in a church. It was in a state house.、Uh, they were married by the state, not、uh, by by a church. The same with my auntie and uncle. They got married in a state in a state house, not in a church. But I think a lot of people prefer it in a church because it's where it's traditionally held. But I think a lot of England is moving away from that now. But it's it's. I think it's the image of having it in the church that people are attracted to, but there's better places to do it now, more beautiful places, and I think a lot of people are moving away from it because of those reasons.、Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. Today we've been talking about weddings and their ceremonies. We will join you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>